Okay, so how we're going to begin chapter 6 is we're going to start with horizontal general equilibrium. So before we get into this, we need to know exactly what is general equilibrium. So this is a type of equilibrium. So when we say equilibrium here, we are referring to a steady state. So a steady state is where the economy is stable and there are no more changes that can happen to this economy. So it is a state of equilibrium where the whole economy, including the little markets within it, have got equilibrium itself. So that is when supply equals to demand and the prices in each market of goods and services are being determined. And again, when I say the whole economy, I'm talking about interacting markets. So here are interacting markets between consumers and producers themselves. So over here, I'm not only considering the market for one particular good, but I'm talking about many goods. So it could be good X and good Y. Um, in general equilibrium, you cannot just look at one single good. You need to look at how the market for good X might affect the market for good Y. And you know, when we talk about producers, you're also considering the market for labor. So that might actually affect um, the goods for you know goods market for X and Y itself. But for now, we're just going to leave out the, the market for labor so that we can simplify things. And there are two dimensions of general equilibrium. You have the horizontal general equilibrium, which we are talking about today. And of course, you have your vertical general equilibrium, which we'll be talking about in another video. So let's talk about the formal definition of horizontal general equilibrium. So what this is trying to tell us is we're trying to analyze the relationship between equilibria across markets for final goods. So EQM here is actually equilibria. So equilibria here is simply the plural form of equilibriums. Okay, so you've got many, many equilibriums um, that gives you equilibria. Okay, it's just a fancy word for it. So final goods here, we're talking about the consumers. And horizontal general equilibrium is also known as intermarket equilibrium. So intermarket here, you know, we're talking about the final goods, right? So obviously we're talking about the market for good X and maybe a market for good Y. Let's just keep it to two markets for two different goods so that things will be a little bit easier. So you see, good X and good Y, their markets might be interrelated because, well, maybe they are complements or they might be substitutes, right? So you know that the demand for good X would affect the demand for good Y if they are either complements or substitutes. Vertical general equilibrium, on the other hand, talks about the relationship between equilibria between producers and consumers. So we'll talk about this in another video. Today we'll be focusing on the horizontal general equilibrium instead. So before we look into that, let's talk about horizontal partial equilibrium. So obviously partial equilibrium would be a subset of general equilibrium, right? So let's look at the difference between partial and general. So in partial equilibrium, you are looking at the market for good X and good Y on a separate basis. Okay, you're looking at them individually and you don't care whether these two markets are actually interacting or not, whether they have an interdependency or not. So if you're gonna look at a diagram over here, so this is the demand for X, okay, and this is the supply for X, which is affected by uh, the wage rate. So we got equilibrium over here, which gives you the market price of PX naught. So that's market X, right? And then you go on to market Y, so this is the demand for Y and the supply of Y, and then you have an equilibrium uh, price of PY0 and that's market Y. So you're looking at these two markets separately. So the question here that you need to ask yourself is this, do they actually depend on each other? All right, so that is what general equilibrium here is trying to ask. Thanks for watching a sample of the Quickonomics online learning experience. We hope you've enjoyed it. We believe that true happiness lies in realizing ambitions and dreams. That's why we make our products specific to your needs. Simple to understand and captivating, so that you can learn effectively while saving time. Realizing those ambitions and dreams. The Quickonomics online learning experience is a range of supplementary lectures, tutorials, and exam solutions in the form of videos, which you can conveniently view anytime, anywhere. Watching our videos before and after your regular lessons at school, we aim to give you joy in learning and build academic confidence at the comfort of your own relaxed learning environment. So how can you begin? We welcome you to purchase Quickie Dollars to redeem the videos for full access 
to the Quickonomics online learning experience. Thank you for studying with Quickonomics.